once a year he comes to Belgium and then he gives a lecture a whole day long and it's amazing what you learn there. It goes very fast because he sort of juggles around with the information but it's all the time he shows you uh, mainstream medical literature. The only thing is that he, in, he makes another interpretation of the results of these studies. He uses them in a different way and he builds up again the body from scratch. And then all the things like the heart disease and this and that, it, it can go. And we have moved from, uh, in the 1900s and before that, infections diseases, infectious diseases, to now autoimmune diseases. But what lies underneath what we see now in diseases is inflammation. And when you change the diet where the omega-3, omega-6 ratio used to be 1 and 2, and it's now 1 to 26 or so, uh, omega-6 will give you inflammation. Omega-3 will decrease the inflammation process. But, and that is very important, if your kidneys have been harmed by vaccination, the glomeruli have been harmed by vaccination, and that is what Patrick Jordan has found, then there is one study who shows that if you take Omega-3, your symptoms will worsen. So some people Although they might need omega-3 to get the inflammation down, they cannot handle it because their body cannot handle it because they have this damage to their kidneys. And it's very interesting to see that Baxter International, the one who mixed H3N2 with H5N1, bird flu, live bird flu, that that is a company that not only makes vaccines, but also products for the uh, kidney DLEs. Uh, so basically they've created a problem and then created they, the solution. Uh, right. You create How to create your own market. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, exactly. Create a disease and then create the, the okay. solution. And if you look, if you, you can see that all over the place, all the time. And so the Codex Alimentarius is creating disease. Because it takes out foodstuffs and any supplements or vitamins or this, that, or the other that we could take to right the balance again, they're taking away by saying, no, 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 you can't have that. It's toxic or it is this or it is that. So there's a whole health food market out there. I mean, we've got thousands of health food stores and, and vitamin supplements. Are you telling me that they're all going to be taken off the market? Are they going to now be illegal the way heroin is illegal? Uh, basically, yes. So the whole health food supplement industry is no longer as of December 31st, 2009. And, and a normal person can't even get um, a health food supplement on prescription. Well, that's the big idea. They want to put it on prescription, but it costs you 10 times as much. It will be not a natural product anyway. It will be a pharmaceutical product, so it will react differently with your body. It will do whole different things. Plus that... Um, a food supplement that comes from a uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, the only food supplement that I know and the only vaccine that I know what is in it is the vaccine or the food supplement that I have made myself. Okay. Trust is not an issue there. Don't trust them. I, I don't. So you, you've now got um, the vitamin supplements have been taken away. Um, tell us a little bit about what's happening with the food. Well, the food is... Uh, a lot of stuff is taken out of it, so it's 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 degraded to. Um, yeah, in, in in Dutch you can say I I wrote an article from voeding naar wellness. <laughs> from eating to wellness, I think it sounds. No, like from it from food to garbage. To garbage. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the, the alliteration is in in Dutch. It's it's nice. <laughs> from voeding to wellness. Yeah, but um, so what we eat is not what is nurturing our bodies anymore. How are they actually and getting that supplement out though? How are they actually taking the supplements out the food? I mean, food grows naturally with vitamins well, and you, minerals in it. You, yeah, but you take out, uh, for instance, uh, the, the fats that are in there because uh, they will have a very short shelf life. So 
take that thing out and put something else in it and say that it is an improvement and people will believe you. Mm. And they will start eating the stuff and they will get sick from it, but they, they will never make that connection because it's, it, it's not in their awareness that we live every day opposite day. I mean, every day is opposite day. That is what Patrick Jordan says. Every day is opposite day, meaning we say vaccines are safe and effective, but really they are maiming and harming you. And that goes across the board with everything, the politics, politics religion, it. whatever it is, the actual truth is the opposite of yeah. what we're told. Yeah. Yeah. And Most of the time, yes. You really have to check it out for yourself. Take it inside, feel what, it, what, what, what resonates within you or not. I mean, I can't say what the truth is for somebody else, but I know when it resonates within me as truth, then I know that it yes. does. I recognize that immediately. And that way I can smoke out a lie also. I mean, yeah. With regards to, to, to the foods, um, what foods would be good to take once they start taking all these vitamin supplements out? What are really good foods to start? eating to, to help our own bodies? Well, uh, as I explain in my, my lectures, I say, when you go shopping, take with you in your thoughts, take with you your great-grandmother. And anything that she doesn't understand, you don't buy. So that means that you have only stuff that you can recognize for what it is. And then buy biological stuff. And even then pay attention. If you knew whether there's still energy in it or not, uh, that sort of thing. Because, like with tap water, when you drink tap water, you energetically degrade yourself. Apart